I do everything that I do to perfection. So I did fat to perfection. I got as fat as I could be. I did fat as well as I could do it. AJ Rochester. AJ Rochester. AJ Rochester. Absolute inspiration. She is also now the author of a book I recommend to you. 110 kilos of woman. Okay, we've got our work cut out for us. Oh my God, I left my ass on the bus. <laughs> I had to change my eating habits. That was quite frightening. She allowed Foxtel's Lifestyle Channel to document her most confronting moments. Your body fat's so high I can't get the caliper around that. <laughs> Uh, so it was all about learning to relive my life and dealt with all the head stuff. God, I'm so frustrated. You know, I will be able to eat normal stuff, like, you know, like a normal person. Because I don't feel like a normal person at the moment. It is really completely liberating because I actually, for the first time in my life, actually feel normal. Done the whole diet thing, you know, where you pre-order your food and all that kind of thing, which most diets are always good, you know, in the first week you lose two, maybe $300. And then, you know, your wallet for least a kilo lighter. Having an eating disorder, I uh, always thought I was fat. Even when I was like 40 kilos, I thought I was fat. If you don't eat, you'll die. Did you get it? Yes, I ate healthily and addressed my eating habits. I mean, I used to eat a barbecue meat lover's pizza, six chicken wings, a garlic bread, an ice cream and a cheesecake for dinner. <laughs> really? Just on my own. I don't wear G-strings, I have the whole alphabet. I couldn't eat a whole bit barbecue meat lover's pizza now. Broken leg, broken tibia fibula, so folks uh, never drink on empty heat. And I fell down my stairs. Oh, God. Which was not a pretty sight, but you know what? It was really, for me, the final uh, thing for me. It was like, a wake okay, up call type thing? Absolutely. I couldn't be, continue to be that silly for the rest of my life. You know, I was at risk of dying from obesity. Mm. But. Do not think for a second that this is going to stop me from getting fit. I did the City to Surf last year because when they told me that I would never run, I went, you tell me I'll never run, I'll run the City to Surf. I finished 30,341st. <laughs> What sort of a reaction do you get when you walk down the street now? I get perved at and wolf whistled. <laughs> oh, I deserve the very best life can give. And not so long ago, a few months ago, I put the universe is keeping you free for the right man. And last Saturday, I got engaged to the right man. It's like having a whole new toy to play with. You walk down the street and go, look at me. I'm so sexy, but you can't have me. Oh, no, no.